In this video, we'll talk about setting up the Windows Firewall. The Windows Firewall guards your computer from hackers breaking into your system or sending malware your way through the Internet. A firewall is a necessity if you have an always-on connection, such as a DSL or cable connection, or a network connection. The firewall is turned on by default, and you can change your settings from the Control Panel Security page. Here's how. Click the Start button, and then click Control Panel. Click the security link. Now click the Windows Firewall link. The Windows Firewall window appears and shows the current status of the firewall in the status bar. Windows Firewall is on, so the status bar is green. You can change your Windows Firewall settings by clicking the Change Settings link. Click the Continue button to open the Windows Firewall Settings window. The General tab displays the current status of the firewall. If you're connected to a less secure network, such as a wireless network you access in a coffee shop, then you should check the Block All Incoming Connections box so you won't get any unwanted intrusions. You can also turn the firewall off if you want, but be careful, because without a firewall, your computer will be more vulnerable to attacks. Some programs and services need exceptions, which are holes in the firewall, so they can operate properly. For example, if you want to share files and printers connected to your computer with other users in your network, you won't be able to because Windows Firewall doesn't allow file and printer sharing by default. Programs may need to share information through the network. The bad news about opening these small holes in the firewall is that your computer becomes a little less secure. You can scroll down the list of exceptions and select the checkbox next to the program or port you want to create an exception for. If you want to see more information about a program or port, click the program or port name and then click the Properties button. Click the OK button to close the Properties window. You can add a new program or port by clicking the Add Program or Add Port buttons respectively. If you want to see more advanced settings, click the Advanced tab. This tab shows the current network connection settings protected by the firewall, and you can also restore defaults and discard any changes you've made in the window. For now, click the Cancel button to keep the firewall settings as they are. 